gonna show you to make some whipped cream today. Here's what you're getting. Your whipped cream canister, powdered sugar, which is in this white bin right here. It's got powdered sugar in it. And then vanilla and the vanilla spice. First, you take like a scoop of the powdered sugar and put it in there. What I do is I take a piece of paper towel and make it into a funnel with my fingers. So it goes into the whipped cream canister without making a huge mess. So once you have it in, you kind of have to make it thick. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Alright, once you have it, you take like this much whipped cream, and, or not whipped cream, powdered sugar, and you just put it in here. And I just put the spoon back. And just kind of shake it till it all goes down into the canister. And then you can just throw this away when it's all done. There's a trash can over there. Okay, next, I also forgot you're gonna need a whole um, quart of heavy whipping cream. So, first, I take the vanilla spice. And there's a measuring spoon inside, or a teaspoon, whatever. You just do like one teaspoon of the vanilla specs. I think it's actually half a teaspoon, so if you don't have it in here, it's half a teaspoon of vanilla specs that you put in there. And then the vanilla. Um, It's supposed to be one teaspoon of vanilla, but I just eyeball it. So if you want to be precise, it's one teaspoon. Uh, I just do like a little bit. That's a little closer. And then once you have that, you add your heavy whipping cream, which is in the walk in freezer fridge, which is over there. Once you have that, you can throw that away. Put your lid on it, and you want to shake it for like a few minutes. It has to be shaken up really well. So shake it for about like five minutes, three to five minutes, I'd say. And you just shake it. If you make a mess, like with the powdered sugar or anything, bring down a sandy bucket and sandy water and wipe your area clean, um, and then like dry it with a dry rag too. But you just need some tanning water and a towel to clean it up. Okay, once you finish shaking them, you're going to charge the whipped cream can. These are the charger box. This is what it looks like. It's going to be in the, um, the drawer underneath the register behind the scooper station. You just need two. And then you take one and put it in the container for it. And you twist it on here. The containers are in a pint cup above the... Um, sink behind the Cooper, scooper station in the cabinet. You twist it on until it's like all the way on and tight and you leave it on for like five to ten minutes. While it's charging I take a piece of tape. Um, masking tape is the best tape to use for this. Take a sharpie, write your first and last initial and then today's date which is February 10th. So then on February 16th it's the other date I put on so it'll be February 10th to February 16th and then um, you stick that on here and then you're good to go. And then you'll need a topper for this. This is, you can find them in the same spot you find this. If you need any help, please ask questions and make sure to clean up your mess. And then after the five to 10 minutes, you take this one off and put the second one in and just leave it.